In this video, we're going to be showing you who's at fault for each of the Premier League goals this week, how Man City are poo-poo without Rodri, how Arsenal just can't buy a win, and some goals that are just insane. I'm Carl. I'm sure. This is What's He Doing? What's He Doing? At 48 Hours Football. Let's go. Starting off, one goal game. When it is. Newcastle. 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 Newcastle, Newcastle. Newcastle up. versus Arsenal. Newcastle, Arsenal, just a 1-0 game. Gabriel, Halloween is over, bro. Uh, he's out here marking ghosts, Sean. Uh, Isak can be marked, isn't being marked. Mark someone, mark him. He scored. What are you doing? We done. Swiftly moving on to Nottingham Forest, West Ham, Sean. Is. Mr. Lucas Paqueta. Paqueta? It's just not running. Dude is allergic to following a run. Mm. It will not chase anyone down. Even Alex Moreno. Who just walks down the left back mm. left back line? Paqueta is there, watches him. You'll see the picture. Can't be asked. Doesn't follow him in, and yeah. he crosses it to Mister Chris Wood. Mister scores every game. Yeah, that's it. All right, up next is uh, your favourite name, Sean Konstantinos Mavropanos. Ooh, what's he doing? What's he done? The slightest deflection takes it straight past Fabianski. If you're going to deflect it, deflect it well away. Don't just dink it because I mean. If he'd have just left it alone, Fabianski probably had it. And the third and final goal in this game, Mr. Todibo. Oh. Now, this would have been a no-fault no screamer. Yeah. Senor Jean-Claire. Yeah. <laughs> fancy just flicking it really softly back into Aina. Ah. You're 2-0 down. Boot the ball away. Get it clear, boy. Smash boss. it somewhere. Just reduce the deficit. The goal difference is getting killed. Give it a little flick. And it just hit Aina in the chest and it carried on his run. Mm. And then he walloped it bottom left. Southampton, Everton and Southampton. Oh. Oh, oh! They did so well. This was the who they cares win? derby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they did so well. Uh, only one for only one goal is my goal. Ready for it, uh, Sean? What's he doing? What's he done? It's Ashley Young. In the forty-five years the man's been in the Premier League, you'd think he'd know how to mark his man's run. Uh, he didn't. He got left behind. He did all the space in the world for Armstrong to just run clean through. Uh, Ashley, what are you doing? Got a like a Look around, boss. Got banned like a broken fridge in an alleyway. <laughs> God, it's time to hang up the boots onto Liverpool Brighton. We're cutting through these goals, mate. We're a lot of goals this week. Yeah, it's no fault. Mm -hmm. Something with fullbacks, man. Yeah. They're, they're on something in this <laughs> league. But uh, Caddy Oglu. Yeah. Yeah, I've got the pronunciation down now. Good pronunciation. Caddy Oglu. There's nothing Liverpool could do here. The ball flashes across the edge of the box and he just wraps his right foot around it mm. off the left post in. Crazy. Kelleher's got no chance. Allison's not saving it. Yeah. Nothing. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Sean up next. Second week in a row that he's done this. Uh, what's he doing? What's that? Van Hecker. Uh, yeah, like I said, two weeks in a row where he's just deflected the ball into his own goal. So it's almost an own goal. It's not an own goal. It's just a big deflection. So what are you doing? This time it's with his head. Yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly. What are you doing? What are you done? And again, Liverpool from the clutches of dropping two points. Mm-hmm. Remembered. We've got Salah on the right wing. Just give him. Just give, give him the him ball. Salah, yeah. Just give him the ball. <laughs> and uh, he's gone and um, sent Estepinian shops. Yeah. Estepinian, what are you doing? What have you done? Salah, Ronaldo chopped him like it was FIFA 13, mm. and then hit R1 circle. Yeah. Top left <laughs> with his left foot. Nothing really. The keeper had no chance. No chance, mate. Uh, moving us on to Bournemouth City. To a result that no one was expecting this weekend. 2-1 uh, Bournemouth. Oh my God, Sean. Let's start here. Okay, what's he doing? What's he done? Phil Foden. He got cooked on a wing. He did. Uh, he, he got made like KFC. Honestly, Kirkes bullied him to bust open some space behind him and get the ball across. Phil Foden, get some meat on the bones. You can't defend, boss. Stop it. Little Phil. You know, little tiny Phil. Little Phil. He Little just, he, Phil. He got, he got played. He did. He's, he's supposed to be doing that to Kirkhead. Exactly. Not having <laughs> Kirkhead do that to him. And then Bournemouth went and just sod it. We'll just go 2 0 up against the best team the world's ever seen. Yep. Without their main guy. And Ake, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's just lost his man. Just, just lost him. to mark him. Evan Nilsson took one step to the right. Oh, no. And Ake stopped marking him. Mm. It, it, it's like. Evan Nilsson left his peripherals and he was like, oh, he's just, he's gone. He's gone, yeah. He's, he's not there anymore. Yeah, out of sight, out of mind, Ake. What are you playing? And then Ake, the ball gets fizzed in and Ake's just like, I'm not touching it. Keeper's got it. Yeah, Evan Nilsson just oh, no, slides, playing that. Was it in. Exactly. Oh, what are you playing at? Bournemouth go 2 nil up. Yeah, well, Gvardiol did manage to get a consolation goal. Now, I can't tell if Gvardiol is eight foot tall or and Kirkez is four foot tall because Kirkez is at fault for this one. Um, because Gvardiol is four foot above Kirkez when he gets this astonishing header straight top bins like Kirkes didn't jump didn't even look was just like oh that won't do oh 
did exactly what Ake did. So, but it didn't, it didn't matter. Bournemouth still had the win. Quite literally the perfect header. Yeah, it was great. Way. Just a waste of a goal. Yeah. It literally meant nothing. But that header was spot on. Which is unnecessarily perfect. <laughs> Ipswich Leicester. Yeah, Ipswich versus Leicester. You're up first. Ricardo Pereira. Mm-hmm. He's a classic player. Very like old school defender. But um, when the ball's crossed in just randomly to a yeah. left back who plays for Ipswich, don't miss the header. Because that guy punish. is going to have some left footed volley that no one's <laughs> ever seen before. <laughs> just out of nowhere. On the volley. Yep. First, like, just to hit it, went over the keeper, far side of the goal, perfect shot. But Ricardo Pereira jumped at least three seconds too early to block, <laughs> yes. the, head, to block the ball in. He's already on the way down. Heels were almost touching ground. <laughs> yeah, like, the ball goes over his head, he's on the floor again. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Missed time to the maximum. And this Davies guy, I don't know where he pulled this from, but he just walloped it. And yeah. went in. I'm really sad, you know, Sean, because Zipswitch was so close to getting their first dub. But Leicester managed to absolutely squeak it back. And don't get me wrong, it took them 94 minutes to get this goal. But Dara O'Shea, get back on the list, boy. What are you doing? Boy, done. Got sucked in by the Jordan IU and the Jamie Vardy 1-2, mate. Sucked in. You can't do that. Stay with one of them. Don't run into the middle of a triangle between them two guys because you're going to get blapped. And you did. And they punished you in the 94th minute. He was just tired, Sean. They made this look... The, tired of being off the list. This was like the easiest goal I've ever seen scored. Mm-hmm. And it took them 94 minutes. To Silk, do. yeah. Well, it was nice. Why? They could have just done this in like the second minute mm. and then not had to try as hard. Wolves CP. Yeah, Wolves Cooper. Yeah, Wolves yeah. Crystal Palace. Strand Larson. Yeah. Another forward on the list. Tell me why. If your keeper is coming out to catch the ball, mm. let him catch the ball. Especially if you're the striker because in the same team. If, if you don't let him catch the ball, you'll catch your name on this list. Yeah. Strand Larson. <laughs> now, doing? he's headed it out of Jose Sar's hands. Mm hmm. Which is yep. a crime mm-hmm. to me. And then Chalabar, don't know where this came from. Big Trev <laughs> over on the right wing of the goal. Yeah. Just wallop. He's got the smallest little angle to aim into. And he's just walloped and got it in there. In. This went 400 mile an hour. Flash just of light. Bump, straight in the, all fair play to Big Trev. Yeah, well, yeah. you can't give him too many accolades, yeah, mate. Fun. Because guess who's up next? Sean, what's he doing? What's he done? Big Trev. Oh. Chalabar, honestly, bro. Yeah, Chalabar, honestly, bro. Too big for his own good. Just falls over. Like, just, oh, big, oh, mm, gone. Like in, and then he's, everyone's just got all the space for, it's for the him to run, run all over him. The funniest fault. Yeah, well. it was, he, he, just, he just fell apart. He just folded like a deck chair. What, what, I'm, what I've realised is we need to get Cunha out of Wolves. Yeah. And we need to get Eze out of Christopher Palace yeah. immediately. <laughs> I don't care where they go. Let them go down, but you need to get both of them out. Get both, both of them gone. out there. It's Will Hughes. Yep. Uh, he was either doing the charge or slide or playing DDR in the, in the midfield. <laughs> And uh, Cunha just controlling him like a puppeteer. Just as Cunha went right, Will Hughes went left. As Cunha <laughs> went left, Will Hughes went right. It was just like, just tackle him. Will Hughes looks like the kind of player that shouldn't be a football player. He looks like he's come out of the crowd because they run out there one short. Will Hughes looks like a guy that's on one of those pitches at a hair salon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And you're like, you never <laughs> pick that one. You never pick that guy. <laughs> What's he doing? What's that? Dawson. How is Minos getting his head onto this ball before you? Like, you are the CB, you are the one with the springs in your feet. It's knocked on, don't get me wrong, to Gehi, but Dawson should always be getting this. How it's gone over and been knocked on, ridiculous. So, yeah, Dawson. Okay, well, Tottenham Hotspurs versus Villa, Sean's up first. If it wasn't for Vicario, Poro would have just headed this straight into his own goal. Mm-hmm. But um, Vicario saved it, and then it got smashed in by Morgan Rogers, yep. two yards out of the goal. Sounds about right. Poro, mate, head it away from your goal. <laughs> If you can't header it away from the goal, just head it straight up so the keeper's got time to come catch it. Yep. Don't header it at him. Keeper uses hands, boss. <laughs> Let him use you. Vicario's best save this game was from a Paro header. Ah, exactly. <laughs> all right, Sean up first and the, where it started to all go wrong for Villa. Yeah. Consa. You always say don't sleep on Consa. This time, it's Consa doing the sleeping. Bro, what are you doing? We don't. All game, he's been marking Solanke. And then the first and only time, not the only time, the first time, yeah, that he decides not to, and decides to mark his own shadow instead. Poor old Paul Torres has then got our Mark Johnson, who's been scoring like an absolute monster, and Solanke, who's, for some bizarre reason, been a sleeper striker for Tottenham now. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then they, he just gets it smashed past him. Like, what are you playing at? Paul Torres can't mark both of them, mate. Uh, Konza. Like, the double, and again, what are you doing? <laughs> and again, Konza is caught marking the breeze. Yeah. And Paul Torres this time, <laughs> add Kulisevsky to the list, because he's got to mark three players now. <laughs> 
And he, again, marks no one. Yeah. Kulisevsky, the little ball into Solanke here. Delicious. Top. Yeah, and it was really good. Solanke lobs the keeper. Mm. Don't know where he's pulled that from. I'm telling you, he's been a sleeper agent all the time. He was doing really well at Bournemouth, but now he's excelling at the top. Yeah, but he had shirt. Semenya at Bournemouth. Still going to win nothing. Uh, up next, we've uh, he's been you know putting 100 percent effort in all the game. But Paul Torres, <laughs> what are you doing? We done. Yeah, we we felt bad for you. We had to get you on the list though because you're going to feel left out otherwise. You've uh, you've passed it straight to Saar, but can't do that. Saar is a bandit. He will try his hardest. And the last goal. Yeah. Just unnecessary, really. Mm -hmm. James Madison, it's a no-fault free kick. Yeah. And he's taken the absolute Jackson Because <laughs> he one foot free, one step free kicks it. Yeah. Round the wall, perfect, <laughs> like outside the poster, in the goal. Yeah. Just showing off. What are you doing? He just went and went, <laughs> who's Ward Prowse? <laughs> yeah. Never heard of him, mate. Never heard of him, mate. The best Got free him. kick taker in the league is and has been James Madison. Exactly. Bringing us to what was a rather lacklustre Chelsea United game. This is easy. Uh, commandment endorsed. Robert Sanchez. Uh, give pen, get fault. Can't slap ankles, boss. Goalkeeper, keep hands away from striker's feet. That was easy. I think he just wanted Hoyland shin pads. Oh, I don't know what he wanted. Hoyland went down like a sack. Oh, yeah. It, like, uh, Kind of soft, huh. but the rules are there. Yeah, of course. You, you can't be doing that. And then, again, back to back for me. No yeah. faults. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Moyes Caicedo yeah. has absolutely just pile driven it. Mm -hmm. Straight at Cole Palmer. Pile drivered? Yeah, pile driven. Pile driven. driven no, pile drivered. Okay, drivered. Yeah, pile In the comments. Pile drivered it. <laughs> yeah. At Cole Palmer, mm -hmm. who's managed to move both his legs out of the way. Yeah. He's gone through his legs <laughs> and into the bottom corner. Luckily, he wasn't in an offside position because that would definitely have been inter interfering with Blake. No, it didn't, didn't touch him. Yeah. But it was a, a belter, to be honest. This guy gets one a year, clearly. Exactly, and luckily for us, bringing us to Fulham, Brentford, an absolute wildness, a wild, wild west of a game here, Sean. Like this had everything. This had goals. This had boring eighty-five minutes worth of match play. Like time wasted. Had everything. Don't accept a red card. But uh, we're going to start off. Janelt. Oh, Janelt. 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 Where has this come from in your locker? You're not supposed to be a fullback, mate. You're supposed to clearly be a cam or a striker because where did this knuckleball come from? Like well adjusted left of the goal left of the goal completely, screams it across it. Keeper should do so much better. The way that ball is moving off. Oh, it? yeah. It's like it's like someone All pause, jitters. someone paused the screen and started moving it with the cursor. Exactly. Yeah. It was crazy. It's like Billy Wingrove struck it. But everyone's telling me this Thomas Frank guy, oh he's a tactical genius, tactical mm. genius. Why is he playing Yan out at fullback then? Because exactly, this yeah. guy's the best natural hitter of a footballer. For Fulham's equaliser yeah. in the ninety second minute. Mm -hmm. It's me. Yeah. Was it you? I'm at fault. You're at fault, are you? Get on the <laughs> list. Ben me. Nah. Brazy goal, by the way. Yeah, no, this was not. Harry a crazy Wilson. Goal. This was jam. If he meant this, best goal I've ever seen. Yeah, it's ridiculous. He <laughs> jumped, back heeled it. It's like a Arse scorpion ish height. kick, yeah. This was Giroud's scorpion kick. Yeah. Just if to you, the side. If you turned it up <laughs> ten times yeah. and went. Make it even better. Mm. And it just curled perfectly into the top left corner. Yeah. Furious. If you meant this best goal I've ever seen, he didn't mean he it. He did not mean it, no. And um there's like life's not fair. No, <laughs> that's right. Why are you blaming Ben Me then? Well, he's the one he should have blocked it. Oh, he was the one that should have right been in next there. to him. Yeah, you can't let a substitute come on last minute and score one goal like that. And then you also uh Pinnock. What are you doing? We done. Can't let him come on and score with his damn shoulder. Harry Wilson, by the way, two first names. Harry Wilson, yeah, you can't trust him with two first names. You can't trust him to mess up because he didn't. He came on and it, absolute jammy dodger he is. Scored two goals. He had no intention of scoring. All right, off the shoulder. Pinnock on 500 ping with how slow he's reacting to everything that's going on. I get it's late in the game. You're tired. It's the 96th minute. Okay, that wraps up this week's What's He Doing? What's He Doing? I'm Carl. I was sure. Rem <laughs> Remember to get in the comments, like, subscribe. Stay tuned for next week. we got loads more coming. We bring you all the goals. These are stats that Premier League just don't tell you. We'll see you next time.